Hi guys, we're just going to get started here on our second project, the Stick Blender. Um, all our elevations can be found just here in the Elevations Canvas Views folder that's found in the Download section on Blackboard. Um, you can see when you click on them, they're just going to open up. I'm going to go ahead and save those images. I've got a folder set up here. I'll start a new one just called Elevations. save, do the same thing here, front and bottom or the end, okay, uh, and last thing we want to do is just go ahead and open Rhino, we want to start a new document, uh, small object millimeters is fine, I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop those elevations into Rhino. Okay, uh, I'll put my side view in my right hand plane. So we want to insert it as a picture frame. I'll just start it off at zero. And then uh, we can go from there. I think it's going to be the long way as we want it, just like that. There we go. I'll put my front in to our front plane. Picture frame. Do the same thing again. Let's get it in long ways. Okay. And we'll get our end in our top frame. Sorry, put our end in just here. Let's do it that way. Okay. Now, uh, first thing we need to do is get these scaled correctly. So I'm just going to use this one as a reference for now. It's the biggest. Um, I'll just hit scale this up using the scale command. I'll start at zero and I'll put my end point just on this corner and then I can go ahead and just left click to make it the same size as that canvas. I'll do the same just here. Start at zero. Grab this corner. This one's going to be a bit trickier to do, but I'm just going to do it roughly to size. All we're going to really need this canvas for is to um, use it to create the blades later on, so it's not that important um, at this point. Um, I'll go ahead and start a new layer. I'll rename my default layer Elevations. I'll start a sub layer called Front. I'll get to start another sub layer called Side. Another sub layer, oops, called bottom. Okay, um, just want to make sure we click on the correct layer, right click here, and change object layer. Change object layer. Okay, fantastic. That's all set up correctly. We could turn our elevations on and off. Um, last thing we need to do here is uh, set up these to the correct scale. So I'll go ahead and just open up the brief. Now we've got the stick blender because on the brief will give us our rough uh, sizing. So here we've got an overall height of 410. Uh, so what I'll do is just go ahead and scale that to 410. Um, maybe take this one to 72 as well. Uh, that might be helpful for scaling that. So, uh, because I'm going to 410, uh, the f what I'll go ahead and do is I'm just going to move these all down a bit. So, actually, I'll just change the material quickly, the properties. So, with the canvases selected, I'm just going to go properties, material, and uh, increase the transparency. And I'll change this one as well. I've locked that back accident. There we go. Uh, and just increase the transparency of that one as well. Just so we can see our grid lines through it. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just move this down so the bottom of the stick blender is actually touching the bottom of our uh, grid or our zero. 
uh, in the x-axis. Um, the because it's in perspective, I'm just sort of going roughly where it would be. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is scale this correctly. So I'm just going to select all of these. I'm going to hit scale. I'll start this off at zero. So just type zero and enter. This next reference point is just going to be the top of this canvas. Okay. And then I'll take that up to 410 by typing 410 and hitting enter. So now I know that's 410 millimeters high. And I can double check that by going to dimension, linear dimension. With this tool you can just click between any two points and it'll give you a, a estimate of the size. So I'm not going to snap to the center. Let's just go from here to zero. And there you go, we have 410. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just going to assume that these two um, are correct. Uh, the next thing I want to do is make these symmetrical around the uh, x-axis. Um, sorry, the y-axis. So I'm just going to go into my front view. I'm just going to move this across and try to line it up roughly centered. Um, that looks okay. Okay, that looks quite good. Um, I'll do the same with this one. Um, the reason I'm centering it is because the basic profile of this is going to be a revolved cylinder, so um, we want a central axis going through our model. So our construction planes look something like that in this case. You can see the model crossing over. Now I'm going to go ahead and just move this one up a tad so they match up a little bit better. No, a bit too much. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, last thing I want to do here is get the diameter of that to be 72. So to do that um, nice and easily, all I'm going to do is just draw a line that starts at 0 and goes to 72. So I just type 72 and hit enter. And um, then just click. And we'll now have a curve just here that's 72. Is that a curve just here that is 72 millimeters high. All I'm going to do is just scale that accordingly. I'll just hit scale on this canvas. And just bring it down until it is roughly 72. That needs to be scaled again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, last thing I want to do is line it up on the zero point in the center. Uh, to do that, I'm going to just give myself a reference point. So um, I'll use the midpoint of this line. So I'll go ahead and select that. So this canvas, I'm going to hit, uh, actually is that, no, that's better here. I'm going to hit move. What I'm going to go ahead and do is select the midpoint of that curve. So I'm moving it from there. I'm going to go ahead and just type zero and hit enter. And that will zero me nicely around my center line. Uh, we can see how that's turned out in our perspective view. Have a look just here. Okay, I didn't go to zero, so I just need to move it up. Um, that line was possibly not 
on it as I thought. Uh, yeah, I'll just move that roughly to zero. I've got a reference just here. Okay, and the diameter looks pretty close to what we need. So what we're looking at is pretty much the setup we need for this model. Go ahead and lock these layers. Sorry, I'll just lock, I'll start a new layer uh, and I'll lock these. Um, and we are ready to go with our modeling here. I'll uh, start that in the next video. Thanks guys.